that's new and it seems really really hard to do you feel like so at what time we want to see whether he broke the law mm -hmm. at what time we don't know the time. the time do we know the distance yeah okay so let pt set pt equal to 20. 20. Yeah. 40 over 3 mm -hmm. t squared and if you solve it for t is 1.2 so T equal 1.2. When you want to do something that's new And it seems really, really hard to do You feel like quitting, you feel you're through Well, I have some advice for you, don't give up Keep on trying, you're gonna make it I ain't lying, don't give up In the 20 mile part of the trip, I saw a speed limit sign saying 25 miles per hour. The speed limit was 25 miles per hour. Now I want to see if I broke the law or not. Well, whether or not Mr. Barry broke the law, it's doing so, oh, through the use of Newtonian physics, we're able to see that Mr. Barty's velocity at V2 was 30 miles per hour, which was 7 miles per hour over the speed limit at that point of the race. Mr. Barty was able to overcome the bike's inertia from being at rest and then made the bike go into motion by applying force, massing the acceleration to the pedal. As you can see, this is all accomplished through Aristotle and Isaac Newton's great contribution to physics and math. Because without them, Mr. Boyd wouldn't have big problems. Wow. First law, an object at rest stays at rest because it experiences an external force. So this is true because Miss Arthur st started moving when she experienced an external force, which was cre created by the movement of the bike pedal. Newton's, Newton's second law. A moving man's acceleration is the net result of all forces acting on the object. Ms. Alpha started moving because a force acted on him and he was moving fast at his time. Newton's third law. For every action that's equal and opposite reaction, Ms. Alpha's bike pushed the ground backward and the ground pushed the wheel forward. As a result, Ms. Alpha was moving forward. Over there, uh, graph is, is still over there. Can you help us understand what's going on? Um, I mean, what would be the velocity, average velocity, and whether the oh, velocity the support? Velocity, the velocity is 30 miles per hour, and I use a PT graph, and it's like 30 miles per hour. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the final distance. Okay, so first I found the distance, and then I use the distance to find the velocity, and I got 20 miles per hour, so that proves that he didn't break the law. Okay, then she had, to, then you had to use the calculus to further investigate it, right? Um, the second way to solve the problem of whether or not Miss Barry broke the law is through the Newtonian approach. That's the position is 30 and it's the same as 1.2 so basically so basically this is the calculus version of it and I'm pointing at the sign where it's 30 and the 1.2 intersect I saw your name Woo! that was amazing no, 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 no. so this is just like extra credit oh, 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 oh. This is not the essay? No. I really oh, so you, oh, so you have an essay inside the room? Yeah, yeah this, is, this is extra credit. Oh, yeah. mm. Good job. That's 32 miles per hour. So you're gonna write, Mr. Barry broke the law because the, uh, the, the calculus does not support That's new, and it seems really, really hard to do. You feel like quitting, you feel you're through. Well, I have some advice for you, don't give up. Keep on trying, you're gonna make it. I ain't lying, don't give up. Don't ever quit, try and try, and you can do it, don't give up. Yeah, if you want to catch a ball, but you have been no 